This video will help you adjust the hinges on an Anderson Frenchwood hinged in-swing patio door made before November 2005. You'll need safety glasses and a 532nd hex wrench. A step ladder may be needed depending on the height of the door. Please read and follow your model's hinge replacement and hinge and hardware adjustment guide for detailed instructions including all warnings and cautions. The guide is available at andersonwindows.com. First, check the position fixing screws located here on each of the hinges. If they are not already tight, tighten them by turning them clockwise until snug on each of the door's hinges. Next, tighten the horizontal adjusting screw located between the screws you just tightened. Turn it in the opposite direction or counterclockwise until snug. Do this for each of the door's hinges. Then, check the door's operation. If more adjustment is needed, check the width of the narrow space around the door panel. That space is called the reveal. It should be about the width of your hex wrench all the way around. If it's not, you'll need to identify which of your hinges to adjust. To do this, use your hex wrench to check the reveal on the sides of the door panel. A narrower space at the top of the door panel's left side that widens toward the bottom means the top of the door panel is tilting to the left. If that same space narrows as you move down the side, the top of the door panel is tilting to the right. On this door, the hinges on the door needing adjustment are on the right. Now, line up your hex wrench next to each hinge to find the one that holds the door panel the closest to a hex wrench width from the frame. For example, the door panel in this diagram is tilted to the left and the bottom hinge is the pivot hinge. In this case, you'll be bringing the top of the door panel closer to the frame gradually and proportionally to take up the gap, aligning the remaining hinges more closely to the pivot hinge. On this three hinge door, the top hinge will have to be adjusted to pull the door panel back toward the frame about twice as much as the hinge below it. If you see that the pivot hinge is on the top, work down from that one. And if the pivot hinge is in the middle, the top and bottom hinges will have to be adjusted in opposite directions to bring the door panel more in line with the middle hinge. Once you have identified the pivot hinge and in which direction to adjust the others, you're ready to make the adjustment. Start by loosening the two position fixing screws on each hinge by turning them counterclockwise one half turn. They lock the door panel in position on the frame, so don't remove them. This could cause the door panel to drop or fall, causing personal injury, product, and or property damage. Between the screws you just loosened is the horizontal adjusting screw that you will use to fine tune the door's position. Loosen it in the opposite direction, or clockwise, on each of the hinges needing adjustment. To make the actual adjustment, Turn this screw just one quarter turn at a time on each of the hinges to be adjusted. Turning it clockwise will pull the door panel closer to the door frame. Turning it counterclockwise will push the door panel away from the door frame. The movement will be barely perceptible, so occasionally stop and check your work. To do this, tighten up the two position fixing screws. Then open and close the door a few times. When the door panel moves smoothly, with equal clearance on all sides, the hinges are properly adjusted. Then, tighten the two position fixing screws on each hinge by turning them clockwise until snug. Now, if the middle screws on each hinge still need tightening, do those too by turning the wrench counterclockwise until snug. When the spaces down both sides are even, most of the time, the problem is solved. If not, there is one more adjustment you can make. Check the spaces over the door panel and under the door panel at the sill. Are they equal? If not, you can make a third adjustment to move the door panel up or down. Here's how. Work with the door slightly open. You will always start with the bottom hinge and work your way up. For this adjustment, each hinge is equipped with an adjustment screw on the bottom facing the floor. Turning it to the right raises the door panel. Turning it to the left lowers the door panel in its frame. When you feel the door panel react and grab more securely onto the hinge, turn the hex wrench one quarter turn back. Move up and do the same for each of the door's remaining hinges. Now all hinges should support the door equally, allowing it to move smoothly and squarely in the frame. 
Congratulations, your hinges should be adjusted and the door operating at the peak of its performance. If you need parts for Anderson windows or doors, just go to our online parts store. And if you have questions about care, maintenance or repair, call our customer care center at 888-888-7020. Anderson, customer care is what we care about most.